Hey everyone, it is five o'clock and it is Sunday, so it's time for a So Sweet Sunday. All right, so let's start off by sharing everywhere. We share to So Sweet Academy. It's so sweet to learn. My. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Um. I'm smiling because I see some of my comments coming through. I can't wait to tell y'all something. Uh, a teaspoon of sugar. Uh -oh. I... So here's one I forgot to, um, I have like not posted in there forever. The I Teach Crafts group. Oh my gosh, I have not been posting in there. And then I went in there the other day and I was like looking at some of the stuff and I was like, oh, I forgot how cool this group is. So, um, I'm back. And I'm taking forever to do this. I'm, I'm sorry, you guys. I think I'm like super duper excited and I was distracted. Free see, challenge. And then I think I got it all. I think I got it all. Did I get it all? Are y'all, is everyone here that needs to be here? There's like one of the beginners one that I usually do. B-E-G-I. This one. Machine of Bird for Beginners. Okay, 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 okay. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Who's here? Whole 14 of us are here. Uh, Terry. That was a surprise. Hey, Amelia. Hey, Terry. Hey, Melissa. Um, hey, Angela. Hey, Jeff. So, okay, Tammy, listen. Now, you gotta, okay, so in the Academy, I have already released the, um, the video. It's a really sh short video. It's like part one of it, but there's more to come. But in, um, it's so sweet to learn it's also on there and then it's on my youtube it'll be on my youtube too but special announcement for you all that don't know already hey bell hey starla hey rose will create hey latasha hey fanny hey jenny yeah okay so let me just calm down just breathe for a moment because I was so excited about that. Um, you definitely, definitely, definitely have to go um, and look at, check out. Okay, so when we're done, you got to go when we're done. That's that's the big surprise thing. You have to go when you're done, when we're done here. Um, check it out. And it's so sweet to learn. It is posted. I scheduled it to post. So it should be up like now or within the next few minutes. Because I'm like 5.08. I'm running a little bit behind. But, hey, Kanitha, hey, Phyllis. So, all right, you guys know I'm always telling you to try new things, try new things, try new things. So, I'm going to try something new with, I mean, why wouldn't I try it with you all? Let's figure this out together. I mean, it's super simple, but I have not done um, one of these before. And what it is, it's just a mat. It's a mat. That's it. It's a bath mat. So I named this one bath mat take one because uh, we're going to be on here and if we don't get it right, we definitely got to do it again until we get right. The only thing that was making me nervous about it was the rubbery part on the back. I don't know how my machine will like that, but I've seen plenty of people do it before and I think it'll come out well. We're going to do it for, um, for my daughter's bathroom. And, oh yes, happy birthday, Latasha. Latasha's an Academy member, and it's her birthday. Happy birthday. I would sing, but me, 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 me. That's not, that's not my best thing. That's just not so much. So everybody wish Latasha a happy birthday. And if you're celebrating something, let us know, and then we'll celebrate with you. Ha, celebrate with you. So as you all know, I love, 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 love my hoop tech clamps. So that's what we're going to use today. 
is what I use today. And then we're gonna use a tear away. So I have a tear away here. And then I already have my file. So y'all wanna, wanna see this part here? While we're all wishing Latasha a happy birthday, I'm gonna just go ahead and move over here. And the design that I chose was just a simple, 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 um, I think it says like bath time or something like that. Yeah, it just says bath time. Um, do you remember the school show one for the day? Hello, I'm going to have to look at that. <laughs> I'm going to have to look at that. All right, so it's going to be... Who, who, who said that? Hoop Tech better... I agree! Listen, why has Hoop Tech not shown me some love? Do I, I don't even know how to go about doing it. That's my problem. I need to figure out how to go and just say, Hoop Tech, we love you. We need your sponsorship because we love Hoop Tech. Okay, so, oh, and brother. Y'all, and brother. Let's not forget about brother. The machine, the P680W. Um, That's a thing. All right. So this mat, I got it from the, um, from Dollar General. I'll call a guy. Yes, they can call somebody. Listen, call somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows something about it. That's what I was trying to say. Um, but yeah, so this mat, it was just $6. Um, it came from Dollar General. I do not plan on messing it up. But if any event I do, I will get another one and try it again. But I just want to show you all that when you wonder if something will work, how you figure it out. You do it. You try it. All right, and then you you don't um, then you move on. Then you you know sell it. You move on, or you make a bunch for your house, and then you move on. I'm thinking it should go in like the bottom corner, like down here, starting like here to maybe there. How long is this thing? Uh, four point eight nine by one point two zero inches high. The way I got that, I just kind of measured here. And I'm going to take the center of it. Where's a good place to purchase the Hoop Tech clamps? Um, I think I think their website is like Hoop Tech products or something like that. Email the link with some of your sessions. Maybe they'll hook you up. That's a good idea, Susan. <laughs> let, me, let me make sure they're the ones I'm behaving on. Y'all know. Maybe the, maybe the Mantis one. No, we did the Mantis one on the single needle, huh? Maybe the panties. Maybe those. I mean, they need a little flavor and spice. That'd be fun. So, maybe this one. Maybe this one. We'll behave. Let's behave. Let's start behaving like right now. Okay? But keep in mind, wasn't it Marilyn Monroe that said, well behaved ladies rarely make history? Are we trying to make history? Sure we are. Okay. So, anyway. Um, what I love about these, I like to use a lot of like their notches right here for my landmarks. Sometimes I even take it all the way up here if I want it to be even more sturdy, but this is, this is a pretty good sturdy piece. I'm, I'm cool with how it is now. If it is a little fluffy, if yours is fluffy, get you, take your fingers and just rake it down in the right direction. If you got you, if you have, if you, listen, if you have a rug comb, comb it. <laughs> I don't know if you do, don't tell me. But just comb it down, press it down, just so it's not going every which way. But the best thing you can do when you're doing something like, you know, a little plush like this, you definitely want to um, use a knockdown stitch. So I did that. Uh, it was, absolutely. Yay! Thank you, Melissa. Um, but yeah, so we did a knock. I mean, we I already put a knockdown stitch in there. Let's go ahead and pull it up. It's gonna say bath time. Now, you guys help me decide on this. Kira's bathroom isn't a specific color. Um, Kira, come please, come hither. Do y'all wanna y'all wanna pick it for her? Y'all, okay. So y'all, 
I tell you what, so y'all pick out some colors. I'm going to do the knockdown stitch um, in the ivory or cream looking color here. And then bath time is going to be in whatever color you all pick. And then she's going to pick the final color if she ever comes in here. Kara, huh? come here. I said come hither. Come hither, I say. Okay, listen. So this bath mat is going to be for your bathroom. Yay. Yay. As you know. So when I figured we would let the people choose the color. Pink. You want pink? What's going on here? Yeah, you need it. Um, ooh, okay, Jenny. She said she wants pink too. So so far we have pink. So they're gonna pick a color and then you get to finalize the color. I want that one up there by that blue. Give them one of those options, that option. Okay, so you wanna do like that? You wanna pick some colors and then they pick the final option? Yeah. You know, this is a group effort. Why do you use that? Be because it's just easier than climbing up on the chair. Option number one. Number one. It's a pink. It's a pink. Or um, a variety of or that one. That I don't. Yeah, I don't like that one as much. Or blue. Okay, so we now we just went way left. Is your bath? There's not enough on here. We we would we would lose this round of thread roulette. Absolutely. Okay, so let's see. George says light pink. There's a light pink on that right there. Where this one? Mm-hmm. Uh, let's let's go with a little bit of a darker one so that you can um, actually see it up top. The um mat. Mm-hmm. It's a mat. Oh, mat for mat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so corny. Uh, let's see. Um, Susan, typically I would have her pop on screen, but today is is not a. We didn't prep for it today. Mm -hmm. You can't pop on. Okay, I didn't know. Some y'all. Some days she's like, I don't know. I don't know. No, I want to do myself. No, no, no. What, what are you doing? I have to turn it. Hi guys. <laughs> you have a magenta? I don't have a magenta mat, but we have this bright pink. Uh, I have this magenta. Is this magenta? Magenta. Let's see. All right. All right. So we we're down to these two. So I, I would love to use matte. For the mat, but if you all say no, here they all said hello. Hi, hi. Miss Bell said hello. Miss Terry said hello. Also, look at me. No, no, no. I can't yet. Oh, because I did a YouTube video. No. What? Friday. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys! Guess what? <laughs> guess what? Guess what? No, you tell them. It's your news to tell. So wait, wait. If you all saw my live that I did in um, it's so sweet to learn. Um, was that Thursday? On Thursday, you all know what news she's about to share. So, take it away, kid. Wait, let them guess first. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Yeah, no, because see, some of them know, so they'll automatically guess it. Oh. So, tell them. Hurry up. I made the, I made the volleyball team. She made the yep. See, so I told you someone's going to guess. She made the volleyball team. Woo, woo. So, I'm a volleyball mom. I was going to do something today that had to do with volleyball, but I could not think about it. I couldn't. I didn't want to do, like, a, just an in-the-hoop thing. Um, I mean, like, a key fob thing, and I might, but... Um, I didn't, I didn't have a cute design for it. I, I've been looking up some stuff, but so everyone is saying, yay, you got a whole bunch of hearts mm -hmm. and you got volleyball and you got, yay, Kira, congratulations. Woo -woo. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. So you, are we going with this one? Let's go with this one. It's a mat. You like this one? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Is it, how big is it going to be on my thing? Uh, it's going to be... Five inches. It's gonna be almost five inches wide, and it's gonna be about an inch. It's gonna go right here. Oh yeah, right here. It's gonna go like right between here. Okay. And it's gonna say bath time, cause that's what I always tell you, Kira. Bath time. And then y'all know what you know what happens when I tell her bath time? No, don't tell them. Don't tell them. No. I have to tell them. They're like family. Can I please? Okay. okay. I mean, I don't tell them like personal stuff, y'all. The girl is like the queen manipulator. She's like super duper 
I'm not going to say sneaky because I'm not going to not gonna wish that upon her. But she's super duper talkative. And you know what she does? She will sit there for like another 10 or 15 minutes and think of stuff to talk to me about and ask me about. And, oh, mommy, remember when? Oh, mommy, guess what? Oh, mommy. Mommy, right? Mommy, don't you? Mommy, huh? Mommy, look. Mommy, you know this dance? <laughs> hmm? you, you All those. You know, you're always. Mommy, don't you know this dance? Mommy, isn't this your favorite dance? And she'll dance in the mirror. She'll sing to me. And then like 20 minutes later, I'm like, Kira, didn't I just tell you to take a bath? Oh, yeah, I'm going now. Or she'll stand in the bathroom and dance in the mirror. And I just hear the water running. And she's like, I'm like, Kira, are you in touch? Oh, I'm about to. No. Okay, okay, I'll stop telling you this. So now you can sing and dance on this mat that says bath time. I did, I did too. I did too, Terry. I did the same thing. <laughs> okay so we've changed it out to hot pink matte matte for matte oh melissa look did you see the volleyballs melissa put up there mm -hmm. and evelyn mm -hmm. all right so we're gonna rotate it now keep in mind you need to rotate it oh and i did it the wrong way i put it on here so it's gonna stitch it's gonna look like it's upside down so you need to rotate it so that it's the right way okay You definitely got to finish the thread before. All right, so I'm going to now bring it all the way down to the bottom. It's going to be kind of small. I might make it a little bigger. Just a smidge. And you all know the rules. You don't increase it more than about 25%, I mean 20%, right? You guys know that, right? I know you know. Whoa. Don't mind me. That was just the sound of me increasing it more than 2%, I mean 20%. I'm going to make it about an inch and a half tall. All right, center, file, save as, save. Yes, all right. Uh, that sounds just like her mommy. I know, Latasha. I, I do the same thing now. Uh, So right now I'm just finding my placement. I want it about halfway bet between. What you can do, you can measure from the top and the bottom. So measure from like here to here and then take half of it to find your center or you can fold it in half and find your center or fold it back that way or just eyeball it. I eyeball it. Um, that's why I love the, the versatility of the hoop tech clamps because I can see what I have going on and then I know that it's going to line up because I use this notch right here. Um, I also took the bottom part. Y'all are just at me high. I took the bottom part here and I lined it up with like that little part right there. Okay. And make sure you get a quality rug. Sometimes when you fluff these rugs around, they will fall apart a little bit this one seems to be doing pretty well i see a couple of dust particles nothing too too bad but we shall see all right then i'm going to trace around the whole thing make sure my needle isn't going to hit anywhere i might even bring it up a little higher i mean it's completely up to you where you want yours to be i'm going to place it in the center i'm going to grab some Water soluble. All right. Now 
Gail, you absolutely can do this on the single needle machine. As a matter of fact, um, Amelia is the one that gave me this idea first, and she did this on her single needle machine. So you absolutely can. And the reason, the best thing is flat. You know, it's a flat surface. I wouldn't do one that's too plush. This one is not plush. It's not super plush. Oh, so also, if you see me, if you're new to me, um, into my lives, I am putting this tape down. You can definitely take the water soluble and put it underneath, but most of the time, when I get mine in place and I get it where I want to be, I don't really want to lift this back up. And then I don't like to lift, I don't like to put this in place beforehand because then my light reflects off of it sometimes. So this is just my personal preference. Um, I've seen a lot of people then go back, lift it up and slide it underneath. In my opinion, sometimes it makes it shift a little bit. So I just tape mine down to the top of it. I haven't really had any trouble. I make sure it's straight and flat. You don't want it to bunch up because then it'll mess up your stitch quality. Deal? All right, good deal. So next we're going to go to sewing. We found our placement. The first one, I, I did this in Sew What Pro. So after I did my letters, then I went back around and did my um, knockdown stitch. And it automatically puts it to the first one that's going to stitch. So uh, let's see. I got to move this. I got beige is definitely number two. And then what color is it making that? Peter is number one. So I'm going to use number two thread and then number one. Pamela, we're doing a mat for um, my daughter's bathroom. Are y'all ready? It is a 13 minute stitch out. And this will be my first time doing a mat. It is, I have seen it done before, um, but I, I came on here on live to show you all as it is my first time doing the mat because I want you all to know that when you're doing something for the first time, it's just as easy as doing something that you've done over and over again. You use the same exact rules, use everything you know, like you know this, you already know this, you know that you want to put your stabilizer down, you know that you want to um, use your hoop tech clamps, if you don't have hoop tech clamps, if you have um mighty hoops if you have fast frames whichever ones you're going to do you already know these things use the same exact strategies that you're going to use with everything else okay there you go then you hit lock green means go and if you have to take a minute and breathe and panic that's fine too you do that all right I'm going to get y'all a little closer. So right now, it's just doing our knockdown stitch. needle is dull and you haven't changed it out in a while change your needle before you start um, because this is rubber it is a little thicker to go through but we got this oh also if you all have signed up for the backpack um, stitch Everything has been shipped out. Yay to everyone that has signed up. We had one today that snuck in at the very, very, very last minute and signed up. So I will be getting her stuff out. But after that, like there's no more sign up because um, I want to make sure you get everything in time. But well, with that being said, if you, if you get in there today, I have to ship it tomorrow anyway. So. But yeah, after, after today, that's it, that's it. Like, that's it, it, it's cut off. Um, did you slow the machine down? I did not, it's just going slow. Cause it's the basting, not the basting. Oh, I keep calling this thing the basting stitch. Cause it's the knockdown stitch. It's still at 800 stitches per minute. 
um, how often do you change your needles? Now, there's a correct answer to that, Terry, and then there's my answer. My answer is when they break or when I'm doing something that is um, delicate that needs a sharp needle to go through. Okay? Then I will. Like if I'm doing something delicate and I don't want my needle to be dulled, whereas it pulls the fabric, I'll change it then. But if I if I just gotta be honest with y'all, just keep it 100. I am going to very honestly say I change my needles when they break. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jeff, and I'm a procrastinator. Are you Jeff? I think all of us have a little bit of spirit of procrastination because I know I sure do. Um, but big news about that. Um, I am definitely announcing the next ship and stitch at this, uh, at this one. So once we wrap that one up, everybody that is attending that one and i'm not saying that to get you to attend because like i said it's basically cut off but um you'll be the first to sign up and the first to know who the next one is who the next one is there's a little piece right here that looked like it wanted to come up i don't know what i, I don't know if i want to leave that or what call it cute little saying a little phrase you know why because i worked up until the last minute on that um on the youtube video that I just put out it is definitely really short I, <laughs> i'm i'm getting better at remember like i like to go live y'all that's my thing i like to go live i really really truly wanted to just go live while i was um preparing my surprise for you all but i was like no i'll do a youtube video and i'll also and i'll post it to the group so what I did. Let's see. Sorry I missed it. Did you say today is the last sign up for the ship and stitch? Have you already closed out? So, okay, so it's still open. I haven't gone in and closed it. As a matter of fact, while this is stitching, I can post the link really quick for you. So it's technically still open, and I'm going to ship it first thing tomorrow morning. It was closed as of yesterday, but somebody um, hopped in there and, and signed up this morning. So I was like, okay, if I got to send hers out, I'll give like the last, last, last call to sign up. So, um, Give me a second. Let me I'll post the link under your name. Because typically I'd have it up in the notes and everything, but I don't. y'all i oh man i see and then, and then tiktok like there's so many tiktok videos i want to be making you know like my favorite one is um i really want to make one that's like girl i'm not gonna do it no i was just thinking about it and then she pops out with i did it i want to do that one but i just never think about it at the time like that would have been the perfect one to make for this one. i probably still can I, i'm gonna try it videos are hard it's a lot easier than this one live more fun since you get to her i know i know i know youtube it's just oh and then i don't know if justin is here but i he made a intro what is it called not a banner what's it called intro thumbnail 
he made a thumbnail and then I saved it and I've just been um, editing from that same exact one. So I have a thumbnail. Y'all, y'all be proud. The video is every bit of like 47 seconds, but listen. I'm so excited. In the background, I have my other computer. Are y'all loving this so far? Are y'all loving it? corny because I, I think I'm more excited that I realized I'm using Mac on Mac. <laughs> oh gosh. Hold on. Remember that little piece I told you? Okay, I was about to pick up my knife that I still have over here. Um, but I'm not. Okay, so remember that little piece I told y'all that was a little hanging out? I'm gonna see if I can get it over. So it'll catch it. I might not be able to do it. Okay, it caught it. Okay, good. <laughs> well, this is it. Your nerd is showing. I thought it was going to like my corny, but I'll take whichever one. Y'all, I'm like, I'm super corny. And I like it. I like, I, I like me. So if, if you all like my corniness, the likes are just extra because I like it already. So, um, I mean... I laugh at my own jokes. <laughs> Prime example, like I'm just cracking myself up right now. Pam said, I just bought some new mats for my bathroom. Perfect timing, Pam. Booyah, I want to see your stitch outs. I want to see what you decide to put on them. Oh, what are you doing? World. What's going on here? Got a whole wiper era. Okay, can you can you play nice now? Calm down, guys. It was, it was okay. It's a little wiper area er, era. Y'all think it happened because it's for the bathroom? You get it wiper er, Never mind. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. No more jokes. But that one was funny. Wiper error. Okay. Nobody laughed at that one. <laughs> I had a whole wiper error going on yesterday as I was finishing up my last back to school shirt. I know like the first time I heard it, I thought something tore up, but it literally, I don't know. Sometimes it just doesn't cut it and pull it back enough and it just, it just doesn't, it doesn't happen. And it makes a sound that you just, you think something's broken, but it's really not. It's okay. It's okay. We'll survive. Amelia said she missed it. <laughs> Jeff. Okay. Well, so, okay, Amelia. Uh, you, might, 
you I mean, should not have to watch the replay because it, yeah. It was funnier then because if I try to retell it, it's going to be like one of those, oh, okay, ha <laughs> ha. Got you, got, Luana, make sure, I think, I think there's, the questions are in the X for your address. If you filled all that out, I'll have it out to you first thing in the morning. Thank you for signing up. Um, <laughs> Terry said, that's why I was screaming. Oh yeah, for the, for the air. Yes, I'm telling you. Oh, that's what I was screaming. Yeah, for real. For real. Hey, Natasha. This mat is loud. It's bright. Typically, that means you have to clean your knives for the trim. Oh, gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. Hey, hey. Welcome back. Okay. I have a little stabilizer issue over there. So, um... Y'all gonna just catch the replay for the for the jokes on the wiper error. All right, we're done. Sneak peek. Okay, so let's tear the stabilizer away, and then we're gonna inspect the back. Y'all wanna inspect the back first? I know a lot of you all want to make sure that the back is gonna look good, and it does. Okay, perfect. So that's what the back is. Um, my the non-skid surface is still intact. I've already torn away my y'all. Did y'all see me get back professional just then? <clears throat> okay. I've already torn away my tearaway stabilizer. Okay, and it's it looks good back there. So the front. Looks awesome also. Why is it crooked? Why are you crooked? There we go. Okay, no, I, want, I don't want that other part showing through. There we go. Booyah! I love it. I love it. It says, bath time. Let me fold it in half that way. It says bath time, and I used a, I did a knockdown stitch to keep everything out of the way. This bath mat came from Dollar General. It cost, at the time that I purchased it, which was this year, so they, they, they still should have it. It was um, $6, and I'm looking at the other one because... I want to say the other one, I have a gray one. I want to say the other one is the exact same dimension. So if you go out and get one, I basically used um, 1.5. So it's a 1.5 inch tall. And since I use my hoop tech clamps, my stitch area for this one is six inches, but I just did like 4.88. Okay. And then I used this as like a landmark. I didn't want to go above here. I made sure that, because I didn't want to start way back here. So I just kind of came a little bit, I indented. I did a little indention. And it says bath time. Bath time, bath time. So, let's see what you all said. Hey, Shorty. Hey, Shamika. Um, Pamela said yes. Latasha said nice. Belle said awesome. Terry said love it. Denise said that's cute. Remember when I used to read these off in y'all's voices? Let me do it there. 
I mean, you said nice. <laughs> the funny thing is that that's really how, how I hear y'all in my head. Um, Phyllis said, what a cute baby gift as well. Tamara said, love it. Um, now you have to add a new item to your spa baskets. Exactly. Afterwards, let's discuss what else we can do with these. You know, I like to tell y'all what to do. With stuff. Yeah, you know, I like to tell you what to do. Rosewell, Rosewell said, nice. Marla said, nice. Latasha said, love it. Um, LM Jones said, love it. Danita said, hola. Zaranda said, let me see. I'm late for the party. Rubber dub dub. Oh, that's what I could have put in there. Rubber dub dub. It's bath time. It's bath time. Ooh. I think a piece of dust got in my eye. So for those of you all just joining, we did bath time. So the corny joke that I said, I used mat on mat. I used mat on a mat. It would be funnier as if the mat is for Matt and you put Matt's name on it. So it's Matt on Matt on Matt on Matt on Matt. <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough. Um, what kind of thread? Um, that's Matt Madeira. Jamie, that's what I'm, that's my whole joke. Matt, Matt, Matt thread. You get it, M-A-T-T-E on M-A-T? For M-A-T-T? -T? No, it's not for Matt. Um, Starla said, so beautiful. George said, beautiful. I'm assuming you have a deep voice. I don't know. Um... Now you get it, Jamie. Now you gave me some laughing emojis. See, y'all got y'all got to go with me when I'm when I'm doing these jokes. <laughs> but um, in the back, Zaranda asked to see the back again. The back is I used tearaway stabilizer. So back in my previous life, when I was just completely um a rebel without an embroidery cause. I would have done this without stabilizer. I'd have been like, oh, yeah, it's stable, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. These days we use stabilizer. Um, there's very few things that I don't use stabilizer for. I mean, I still have gone without it, but there's like very few things. So if you watch some of my old videos and I'm going without stabilizer, just just remember, I've, I've been delivered. I use stabilizer on the majority of my stuff now um, because it does exactly what it says, stabilize. Um, it gives you a little more stability. Okay. Yes, so I got this idea. You know, listen, I got to give credit where credit is due. I got this idea from Amelia, okay? Amelia had an order that she did, and she did a whole skyline on hers on the single needle. So, you guys, this single needle ministry is the bomb. I did mine on the multi-needle. Um, I probably should do it on a single needle so that you all can believe me when I say it's possible, but it's very much possible. Um, Pamela said, where did you get your thread? That thread, so all this thread up here is like a Mod Podge of thread from everywhere. So I'm, I'm like a, I am uh, a collector of threads. A threadist? A thready? A threader. Okay, okay, listen up. Um, so this, um, a lot of this right here, no. so this is Coates and Clark. Now, full disclaimer, I use this because I bought it. I purchased this when I was very new to embroidery. I got it from Joann's and my heart will not let me throw it away. There's only a few thread, unless it just completely insults me and just disrespects me and my machine completely. Threadhead, I like that, Susan. Unless it just completely insults me and disrespects my machines and myself, then I'll throw it away. But um, I, 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 don't, I don't necessarily recommend this one to everyone. When I'm giving thread recommendations, I, I tell people I use this, but when I'm giving thread recommendations, I definitely go with more of like the Madeiras, the Isocords, the Sim threads, even Bro Thread. Um, and well, there's another one. Uh, King Star. Is that the word I'm looking for? That's a good, um, that's a good metallic. There's a couple more. Floriani. I really like those. And this right here, random as it is, when I first started, I have no clue who this is from, but uh, 
I got this from Hobby Lobby like over 10 years ago. I got a whole bunch of it because they were on clearance for like 50 cents. And I've been using it. I don't use that for my return orders. Like I just like I would have used that on a situation like today. Glide. That's another one I was trying to think of. And Sulky. Sulky I like too. Um, but I would use that on a situation like today where I know somebody's not going to come back to me with their same logo because I can't get that thread anymore. I have no idea. They were discontinuing it at Hobby Lobby. And that was back in the days when I just was stitching for fun. So I didn't need to keep up with the specific threads. So it's is it cheaper to buy the madeira from amazon i don't i don't think amazon has madeira i think we may have discussed that in one of the lives a while back i think madeira might be some of these are from like licensed uh vendors you have to be a licensed vendor to sell it i buy my madeira from the madeira website um i buy my large spools of where are you But my large spools of like isocord and stuff like that from sewingmachine.com um, that they have a, a spot in Atlanta or I just order it. Um, Shorty said, have you tried glow in the dark? Funny you should say that because I just looked down at it and I just told Melissa the other day that I'm going to try my glow in the dark. I'm waiting for the right time. It's We got to do something Halloween soon. Halloweeny. So I can use my glow in the dark. Oh, the rest of my thread is up there. I am about to I'm about to get a cork board and put all of my thread on because I'm just it's just all over the place. My the thread has exploded and it's just it's ridiculous. It's taken over my whole life. It falls off of my table on a regular and it's time to move. Uh it's time to move my thread. So glow in the dark. This is Madeira. I got I ordered it the last time I ordered a bunch of Madeira. Y'all turn off the lights real quick. Turn off turn off your lights. If you're driving, don't close your eyes or anything, but turn off your lights. I'll wait just it's not gonna work it's just just kidding but it, it glows in the dark I don't know you won't be able to see it let's see if you can see it. you can't see it. okay I tried but um turn your lights back on if you actually turned your lights off but it does glow I tried it I took it in the bathroom when it was dark and it glows so I gotta find something really cute y'all give me some ideas in the it's so sweet to learn group if you're not in that group hop over join that group so that you can give me some ideas to do for my glow in the dark if you have files that you have digitized and um you have stitched out stitch don't post the file i mean don't post the link to purchase it but post the link of the stitch out so that i can see and then decide which one to do so make sure you're in the it's so sweet to learn group because we're going to decide what we're going to put this on okay a ghost oh that's a good idea I i'm missing a lot wait 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 usually hold on y'all and then my phone's going dead. Hold on. Um, Susan said, yes, you can find Madeira on Amazon, but not always the best price. Cool, cool, cool. And we want the best price for this stuff. All Stitch United threads are good places to get most of Madeira's thread. Better than the wholesale cost direct from Madeira. Um, I saw a post where someone stitched through Velcro. Would you recommend that? I saw that exact same stitch. Well, no, I saw that. I saw a post today where someone was asking about stitching through it. Um, I and if it's the lunch bag that you're talking about, I did that exact same lunch bag, and I just went above it. I just made the name a little smaller. I went above it. I personally have not, and I probably would not really um, stitch through Velcro because look at it. Velcro is supposed to stick. You know, it's supposed to have the what is it, the male and the female part where it just sticks and it holds and like if you stitch through it look it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna like unveil the crow <laughs> it's not gonna have that velcro portion um behind it anymore to where it would actually stick and pull so i personally would not if it worked out for them um kudos and good job but i i just if i don't have to like i would let maybe one or two of my letters hit down on there but i wouldn't do the whole entire name on it um i just wouldn't that's just me personally uh but but y'all know i've done some crazy things so yep Jeff, see, Jeff said the little hoops, the little hooks come off and make a hot mess in the bobbin. And y'all, we don't listen. You don't want to make your bobbin mad. You don't. You don't want to make what lies beneath mad because 
gotta mess up some stuff. There's a thread next to one in Georgia. I like to find it. I'll be using glow in the dark in my kids' bathroom rugs. Yeah, so this one is Madeira. I just ordered it. Like it was a last minute thought when I was um when I was ordering more spools, more colors. Marla said, use it on a ghost. Ooh, that's a good idea. But what are we going to do it on? Like, what can we do? Oh, I know. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I, I think I know what I'm going to do. And I wish she was on here so that she could second it. But I'm not going to say it yet. You should try solar active thread. Yes, I have heard of that too. That's like the, um, like for runners and stuff or people like the reflective. Is that what that is, Jeff? Susan said sleep mask so you can find it in bed if it falls off. I guarantee it'll fall off my face every night because I sometimes when I sleep with a scarf on my head, I don't now because I have satin pillowcases um, or satin bonnets, but it's just not going to, it's not going to stay. Y'all, time out. Can we take a time out real quick? Yesterday, I was so tired, so we went skating. I'm ashamed to say that. I can skate but my daughter can't like I dropped the ball there I totally missed something in life but we went skating yesterday with my um, best friend and her kids came home no we went to we ate um, crab legs and then we came home it was probably seven or eight o'clock y'all I went to sleep and I slept the best sleep that one listen that sleep it was it was the bomb I did not wake up until like eight o'clock this morning slept straight through straight through I, I was gonna finish watching the rest of manifest but then i realized i finished the last episode because you know it was only two seasons then i finished the last episode i was like oh i'll just start over never made it to the netflix um start over but i fell asleep fell asleep okay um so she said yeah the Nap and hook on Velcro. Do you think there will be a Madeira vendor in Mississippi? I, I, don't, I think so. I think so. I can't remember who all the vendors. If you go on the site, they may have the list of their vendors. I can't remember, though. They do have thread vendors there, though. Um, somebody asked about how you did the knockdown stitch. Oh, I missed that. So I went in So What Pro, and that's a very good question. I'm actually, as soon as I get done here, I will make a video for the Academy, and I'll load it in, um, in the modules. But that's a really good question. I will do this whole thing and load it in there. But I just went in So What Pro, and um, I, I, put, I loaded my design in, and then I merged in the little button for knockdown stitch and it takes care of everything for you but I will do a video a sleep mask I make military patches so the hook onto the patches have them go through about one sewing machine a year oh I've gone through about one sewing machine a year to get the rotary hook no, ooh, that sounds yeah that sounds like a lot I don't want to go through an embroidery machine a year Oh, I was totally wrong, huh? It changes color in the sun. Let me write that down because I might have to order some of that. So, like, what color? Like a like a mood ring kind of thing. Solar active. Y'all, I don't claim to know everything because I don't. I learn so much from you all. I'm just a little fearless when it comes to the whole stitch outs, but. Uh, I'm gonna look that up. Can you talk about the tech clamps hoop? <laughs> the hoop tech clamps. I sure can. Um, okay, and then I saw a couple other questions. I saw about the knockdown stitch. All right, we're getting to that. We're getting to that. So, the hoop tech clamps, um, it's a hooping system. I'm gonna unscrew it and show you all. Mine has tape all over them, over over it. 
but this is the hoop tech clamps okay so you slide it on your machine and it clamps down so my biggest size is a six by five but you put your project in like that i probably should have left it on the machine and showed you and then you clamp it down let's do that let me show you that on the machine it just slides on you use the exact same pins or screws that you use for your regular hoops and you screw it in like so you see there the only thing about them they are not um they're not calibrated to your machine so you just want to make sure you trace out your area and you know your hoop size and you know your design size okay you slide your stabilizer in usually this stays up but y'all i have used the heck out of these i have had these for the life for how long i've had my um single i mean this multi-needle and when I tell you I've gotten some good use out of it, I need to pull this tape off. I, I use a lot of tape with it just to hold my stabilizer in place. Some people don't. I've seen a lot of tutorials where they don't use it. They don't take their stabilizer down. But I do because sometimes when I go to put my design on here, it moves. So I just tape it. And then I take my whatever project I'm doing, I lift up. That's the easiest way for me to do it. Usually it's up already, so you don't have to worry about this part. And then you just slide your project on there go to the back you can't see it but there's like a little clamp that you push down and it holds it in place and it helps because it just makes hooping so much easier y'all this is a time saver let me show you the other size hoops i have or windows i think they're called windows i rename everything Ugh. I'm gonna plug y'all in real quick because I'm getting a little long winded and I don't want to lose you. Okay. Um, you think I got carried away? Maybe. There's still more that I want though, like the pocket one back of the cap okay I wear a size hoop tech clamp in case y'all in case y'all are wondering what to get me for the next major holiday okay so this is um, this is like the side of the when I bought it it was like the side of the hat or the side of the cap or the shoe you know any one of the I've used it for boots I've used it for shoes, all kinds of things like that. Denise said, no, you did not get carried away. Okay. I'm Denise said I didn't, so booyah. I have another one. Oh, here it is. This one right here is a, I think this one's three by five. I've kind of scratched it off a little bit. I think this one's three by five. So that's what that one is and I like it because I've never thought that and it came when I bought mine these are the size that came sizes that came with it the four by four the six by five and the three by five um, I didn't think I would need this one because I was like oh I'm never gonna use this for anything small but sometimes if I'm doing like a name and I want it to go down, down a long way I've used this like a stocking I've used the stocking to go down that way um, and then this is the four by four window Okay, and I use them all the time. If I had to say what what frames or what kind of system I use the most, it would be hoop tech clamps. Um, the back part that it connects onto is called the chassis, and it just slides right in there. You screw it in, boom, it's just easy. Uh, the other thing that I have that they put out I told you I should I should be a represent was a representative. Uh, I'm telling you I just I have a oh y'all see that it just totally disrespected me. Let's try this again. I have the hat frame, the hat um, Gen Two hat driver. 
know that this one is the one that comes with your machine, but you have to have that to do the hat. And then there's a T-bar over there in the hooping station and everything. I'm not going to show that because it's, um, it's in the corner. But this is the Gen 2 hat frame. Hat window. I want the back, the, the cap back. So the next things I'm going to probably get is like the cap back. It's just a smaller area and it has like a little curve to it and it allows you to get on the back of the caps right up there by the um, clamp. By the, what's that thing called in the back? The back of the hat. Uh, also, I want the pocket one. It's curved so it gets into small areas and it kind of, it hugs around the arm of your machine. I also want the, there's like a tiny, um, I don't know what size it is, but it's really small. I really want that. And then I want to like all those like y'all and you would think, oh, just get one or two. You can't. You you really cannot. This is it's an investment, but it's an investment that will pay for itself 10 times over. There are so many things that I can't do with these hoops. And I don't think I've ever ever used this one. See how see how dusty it is? Not to say I won't one day, but I've used this a couple times, but not very often. But um, so yeah, I highly suggest if you have a if you have a multi needle machine, definitely getting some other type of um, hooping mechanism like hoop tech clamps because I love mine. I love mine. I love mine. Um, there's but what else? Like sometimes I just go on their website and look and see what type of uh, what type of windows they have and then i just think of projects that i need them for once I, I haven't seen them advertise it as much but there was one it i don't know what it's called but it was like a it, it okay i'm going to describe it the worst way possible i know it but it didn't have this back this outer rim portion right here so it kind of gave you like endless so to say endless um stitch room you could come closer here to the edge um but I don't remember what it's called, but I need to find it because I like that one because sometimes I do want to get closer up here and I can't. Another thing that I noticed at my embroidery shop, they do have another type of window that's more flat. So this one has like teeth that go down in it that way. They they hold it better. Um, some of the newer ones just have the, the grip part on it. So there, I mean, they're just, they're the bomb. They're the bomb. Are the hoop texts the same as easy frames? No, I, I'm gonna go with no. I don't. I don't think they are. I really don't think they are. I think um, easy frames. Those are fast frames. Is that what, what those are? I need to find out if it fits the Elna Janome. I don't know. I know it fits a lot of different ones. It fits. They have it for the home multi needle, and then they have the industrial type one, more of like the 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 bigger like 15 needle one. So it fits a whole bunch of things. Let me see. I missed a lot up here. We left off on talking about thread. Um, when when you go on your fire stick, search it. Is there... Wait, wait, wait. We got way off here. Um, you can do a ghost on the fabric Halloween goofy bag that the kids will carry on Halloween night in the dark. That's a good idea, Faith. That's a good idea. I hope we don't cancel Halloween this year. Is there, it's three seasons. It's three seasons? Stop. No, it's not. I thought it was just two. Y'all, I just I just spent two weeks of my life watching two seasons. I will spend a third because that show was good. Oh, you going to fire stick. I have, is that a fire stick I have? I guess. Um. Okay, so Zoranda said, what's the knockdown stitch? So the knockdown stitch... I don't think I descri described it already. So the knockdown stitch basically keeps the nap out of the way. Anything that's fluffy, like a towel has nap, or this has like the, um, it's fluffy. It keeps it out of the way. It keeps your thread from getting lost down in it, excuse me, from getting lost down in it, or from actually just peeping up through it. So it's, it's the same concept that the water soluble will do. But it just stitches the under part of it down and holds it out of the way. I have white thread that changes color to orange when I take it outside. Ooh. 
y'all know me i try to i try to throw every cool thing into one project so y'all will mess around and get a ship and stitch for uh <laughs> a applique shirt with glow in the dark color change um something like i i will try to throw everything into one because i get so excited but i'm i'm gonna get better <laughs> i'm gonna get better about that i'll split them up but um ship and stitch those that's 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 some big things i have rolling out um okay yep denise said i did not get carried away it's never enough i agree support oh i do susan look at susan knowing my sewing room better than me oh you think she was over here with me some days i feel like y'all are for real for real i have the tubular also wait no no this is from um mighty hoops not that one show folks the mighty hoops so this one is from mighty hoops uh but it's the bomb okay it helps because it it keeps it like one time I was doing some bags for a horse show and there were the prizes and they were heavy. So I wound up having to order this. Like I had to order it midweek before the, the order was due because I was like, I will not bend my arm on my machine and I will not stand here and hold these bags up for 40 minutes. They were 40 minutes stitch out. So I purchased this. And it slides right onto my machine and it holds it and keeps it supported. So it's tubular from Mighty Hoops. Okay. Um, is the knockdown part of the general So What Pro or you need to purchase the next level? So that's the good thing about So What Pro, Phyllis. Um, so what pro, I mean, there's so art also, but so what pro everything that you need for the simple merging and stuff that you have is on the, so what pro already. I feel like I'm like doing commercials for these different things, but these are the things I use the most. So I don't mind going in detail and talking. I don't have any paid sponsorships. So these are totally my, um, opinions of all of it. My disclaimer. And even when I do get paid sponsorships, I only plan on really going with the companies that I, um, deep down in my heart, love and support. Okay, now that we've gotten that out of the way. Um, so What Pro has, it's already in there. You don't have to purchase any up levels to it. Um, some of the other programs, you do have to purchase the up level, but you get more access to more things in it. So there's a benefit to purchasing more. Don't get me wrong. There's a big benefit to purchasing more parts of their program. But as for So What Pro, um, the knockdown stitch, that is a very simple add-on to it. It's already in there. And uh, who asked, Phyllis asked that if you give me until tonight tomorrow morning at the latest i will i will do the video and i'll add it in it's really simple like i'm telling you it's, it'll take me probably five it'll take me longer to load the video in than it will to actually do the um, video for you all um and pamela had the same question i hope that answered it so so what pro all you have to do is add a knockdown so, yep zaranda you're in the academy too y'all will see that video coming up too Coming up really soon. Uh oh, I missed something. Hold on. No, I wrote it down. Oh, good idea. Good y'all. Y'all are so good. Y'all are like my marketing team. Um, so Latasha made a very, very, very good point. I wish I had said this a long time ago. Um, if you choose to purchase hoop tech clamps, please mention me. Please say that you saw um, this super fun stitch out of doing a mat on a mat for mat for Kira, but you know, we got to add that last mat in there to make it better. But, um, I'm doing mat on mat for a bathroom and that I use the hoop tech clamps and I always use the hoop tech clamps and just mention me, just let them know who I am. I've reached out to them before though. And I always tag them on my, um, on my Instagram. It still works for most hoops you do. Yep. So, um, as Susan mentioned, that tubular that I said, you can still, you can add it on to um, any of your other hoops. Like, let's say you, because it just snaps on the machine here.
booyah and it gives support on this end okay it doesn't impede with anything that you have going on all right so i think that's all we kind of went a little longer today it's been a while since i've been on here this long we'll do i plan to order hoop tech clamps next month whoop, whoop. when you order them post it in the group so we can celebrate you like i love i love celebrating when we spend money <laughs> or when we make cute stitch outs or when we make big investments or get bigger machines all that stuff i love 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 to celebrate with you all because um it's kind of a big deal so what's the tubular hoop for so the tubular is the support i just showed when i put it on there it just gives support to keep it from being so heavy because sometimes some of these items that we stitch they're heavy you may not i didn't need it until this year it was one particular project that i was doing that i really 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 needed it so i didn't need it until i needed it to be honest um but sometimes you may have something like a jacket or uh, denim jeans a bag that's a little more heavier than you want and then you want to have pulling on your machine and you should have some kind of support but i all before i was like why do i need that i don't need that and then boom i needed it we should see if they do a group order that would be awesome that would definitely be awesome because um yeah i just told y'all all the things i want i just told y'all and uh they are I mean, they're well worth it. It's a little bit of an investment, but it's well worth it. Okay, you guys, so I am getting a little parched. Okay, a little parched here. But I'm going to go because I have to pack up the last two signups for my Ship and Stitch backpack. Super excited about that. And then I got to take my hair down because I'm getting my hair done on Tuesday. And I'm going to wash my hair and just let it breathe um how would you hoop the bathrobe on a single needle i me personally gail i'd float it it's kind of it's a little too thick so i would float it um amelia amelia do you have you amelia might have the video on her instagram or on tiktok i don't know if you do that would be a good video it's, it's like a, a quick little short that she did and posted oh but Amelia, if you do have it go ahead and repost that so that that can be on the top of your um timeline and then some of the ones that see and that are friends with you or follow you they can see how you do it until i get around to doing one could maybe get product like a tupperware lady oh that would be interesting do you have a table for your six needle? Meaning like that little, like a patch table, like that table that comes out like that? I don't know if mine makes it, but I did, I thought I saw that. I do need it. But this kind of acts as a table also. It, it supports it. Um, sometimes I found it, it, it bounces without the tubular, so. Okay, well, uh -oh. what do we got down there? That's all, you guys. If you were just joining me, hiccups too totally random if you are just joining me <laughs> this is what we did today it's a bath mat okay we used matte madeira thread we used um matte material thread we used the knockdown stitch that we did in so what pro super easy i'm going to record a video once i'm done and post it in the academy um i'm thinking i might if i get enough people to i don't know i might put it on i might put it on youtube i don't know i don't know i don't know what my mile marker has to be for me to put it on youtube but it's super simple i promise uh but yeah so that's what we did we used our hoop tech clamps the dimensions were 4.88 by 1.5 tall 
and I mean that's it the mat came from Dollar General six bucks it's not super thick it has a rubber non skid surface on the back that's all but yeah but yeah but that's all folks that's all I got so I'm gonna go you guys remember it does not have to be perfect, but it has to be pretty. I think our stitch out today was very, very, very pretty. And I mean, I, mean, I might go on a limb and say it was perfect. I mean, I might, just a little bit. So I will see you all later. I will see my academy members on Tuesday. I will see my mentor students on your selected days. I will see, I'm going to see a lot of you all. I'm excited. I will see um, my backpack ship and stitch people on saturday and don't forget to go check out the video it's in it's so sweet to learn it is my big special announcement that kira gave me the idea for you guys my baby is 13 and you better start listening to your kids because they have some good ideas not only did she give me the idea she sent me a video of the idea and and what i can do with it so I acted on her idea and we're gonna see where it goes okay and I bet some of you all will do the same exact thing when you all find out what it is okay so with that being said I am going to go I will see you all later have a very 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 good week you guys be safe wash your hands out here look both ways love on your loved ones and just be a nice person how about that let's just be a nice person this week let's just focus on us okay see you guys next week bye